Okay, so here's the setup for what I believe is experiment 1.5. Um, and what I have here are um, primary node 1 and then primary node 2. Um, let's see if I can highlight those. Losing a little... Unfortunately, I have to leave all the lights off, otherwise I get electromagnetic interference, but I can use DC light, so... Um, so here's a yellow antenna here, and then another one here. Um, my DC source at 14 volts right now, I, I had to crank it up. Um, one of the chips is rated at 15 volts, the other one 18. Um, so I pushed it, you know, the, so there's two chips, and I'm, they're on the same source. I pushed, uh, pushed it to 14 to try and get as much electromagnetic field as possible. I think um, I did a quick reading on the oscilloscope. I think I'm getting 5 volts maybe right here. Um, I don't know. My divisions might have been off. I, it was just a quick check. But uh, here's my EMF sensor. I had a little bit of a drama. I, I think I burnt my pin analog pin 5 on my Arduino. Um, very sad. Um, I carelessly touched the EMF detector to the 14 volts and um, that probably didn't do my Arduino any good. So anyway, it was it was just pinning at, at 20, um, which again are arbitrary. I'll show the I'll show the, re the readings in a moment. But I just want to show the setup really quickly. Let's see if I can show. So I got this far with pin 5. I've since started using pin 4 and I'll do this again to verify. Um, but I think that's in focus. So essentially um, I have the board here in section um, pin 1, pin 2, and then I am getting a pretty good, I think, let's see, right about there, I think it's reading. Uh, anyway, I'll post these sketches, um, but here I have 10, about a quarter of an inch away, then drops to 7, then to 5, again, arbitrary units. Um, here's midway between the board, um, the pins are 6 inches apart, and then it climbs back up to 10, rather close to P2, and then it drops off on the outside of the of this pair, the system, um, down to two, uh, a little over, oh, I'll say three and a half inches away. Um, it drops down to two, and that was with pin five. Pin four is proving to be um, maybe a little bit more stable. It, it looks like it's around seven here and here, and then um, it's, I think it drops down to two in the middle, and then it'll drop down to zero outside pretty quickly. And then I also want to test up here, um, an interesting thing to note is that the antenna really matters. In other words, it seems that when I started messing with the antenna, it, it, um, the, you know, bending it to make it more convenient for me, it really does seem that if, if there's like a little crook, and then I have, I have my, let's say this is an antenna from one of the, one of the oscillators. If I come and measure it with a crook around like this, I'm going to get more of a reading, which would make sense because there's, there's more um, area really that's, that's going through that ISO line of the electromagnetic field. Um, whereas if it's, you know, crooked and then like this, uh, I get less of a reading. So it really does kind of matter. Um, I'll play with geometries, of course, as I, as I move forward um, and make, obviously this is just preliminary test, um, but once I make it prettier and um, uh, start putting the pieces together, I'll, I'll refine uh, the antennas for each of these different um, stages. So I wanted to quickly show how I measure um, I, I start here anywhere, you know, very close. And again, you can see the, cr the geometry. I mean, this matters. I mean, how the geometry of the wire cruises around. I mean, I'm at 10 right now. But if I go to this portion of the wire, it'll drop a little bit down to 7. Um, and then I, I move in between here, sweeping. Um, I'm in the middle of the antenna because it's the most sensitive part. If I come out here like this then it significantly drops the, um, the field readings. But for whatever reason, this middle portion of the antenna, whether it's the distance or the, the little crook in here, or just being in the middle of it, does matter. Um, you know, I'm getting, again, 10 here. And then this is, again, P4. I'm just sort of coming back to show how I'm measuring. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, analog pin 4. Um, 
and my screensaver just went on, which does not help. Um, and and then I can sweep on the on the outside. So you know, right about I don't know if this is still in frame, but you know I'm down at two here, and then beginning to see some zeros out here at six inches, um, and then in here here's seven again, pushing ten. Um, oops, I touched it. That's not helpful. Uh, yeah, solid ten on this on this inside crook here. Um, it's interesting. You know, I really had to clear the electromagnetic field. I had a bunch of cords, power cords over here that really, like, I'd come over here and be in the 20s. And it's a good foot and a half away, these cords. Um, so, you know, I have this tin foil for whatever it's worth to shield from the computer. Um, and in any case, I'm, I'm getting some pretty good, some pretty good um, uh, stable readings that, that, again, I, this, none of this setup was here. I just was sweeping this whole area for just ambient electromagnetic field and had to clear it out. I mean, that's why there's no light right now because it's getting dark and if I turn on a light, it will significantly um, overpower what it what these guys are able to do. So I'll have some serious shielding to do um, and uh, try not to fry my analog pins by touching sources to my electromagnetic field detector antennas. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's experiment 1.5. Okay. So <clears throat> these are the readings off pin 4. Um, I couldn't get the readings off pin 5 before I fried, him, fried it. But um, here, let's see, I'm in the middle now. And I'm like, it's like oscillating a little bit between 2, well it's stabilizing at 5 now. Um, every now and again to some 2's crop in there. Um, if I go dead center, yeah, so it's 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5. Now as I move towards P1, um, stabilizing on 5 right about now, which is about an inch and a quarter, an inch and a quarter away from P1, uh, moving forward, very stable, about an inch away. Now we're beginning to see some 7s in there, we're about a half an inch away. I'm very close, quarter of an inch or less, seven with a couple tens coming through there. Uh, now it's more solid ten. I'm like, I'm like millimeters away, not touching, but you know, and th there's some solid ten there. Um, so let's go to towards P2. Uh, so back towards the center. Now I'm about oh an inch and a half away. Moving closer, starting to see a couple sevens creep in there. Um, now we're definitely seeing some sevens. I'm about, I'm about a half an inch away. There's a quarter of an inch, solid seven. And now I'm millimeters away. A couple tens in there. Again, the geometry's you know, I have a different kind of a crook on this side. I'm, I'm speculating that the geometry of the antenna really matters. Um, now I'm going to move to the outside of primary node 2 and about a half an inch away and slowly move. Now I'm down at 2, solid, solid 2. I'm about an inch away and moving away, moving away, moving away. I'm uh, beginning to see some zeros at about four inches. And pretty solid zero by about six inches away on the outside of the system. Now moving to the top. Let's see, going back down to node two. Here's our five slash seven coming on up. Here's two. I'm like inch and a half, two inches away. Beginning to see some zeros, uh, three to four inches away, and then solid zero at about six inches away. Only have a couple seconds left, but I just wanted to show that this bare wire um, antenna really makes a difference. I mean, I've I've got 12 here. Oh, geez, almost 15. Even with the light on, I can outcompete it. Um, that's, that's actually really exciting. <laughs> and then I can come back down to my, 
my five to seven to you know ten smaller antenna. Just wanted to show that uh, here's the here's the solid twelve. Also, there is a good relationship between voltage from my source to the amount of electromagnetic field that's coming, the amount of power gener um, that could potentially be generated in a circuit. Um, so I can play with um, uh, var variable voltage, uh, which I'll discuss later.